Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since I've been able to publish a uh, video due to other priorities. We're back on the little AM broadcaster. You guys uh, saw a little sneak preview of this in a uh, previous video a month or so back. It uses a little JFET uh, op amp and uh, no tuning condenser or capacitor as you notice. Nothing more than a uh, high precision uh, variable resistor here to uh, tune. Not across the entire band. Performance is better on the low end. Uses uh, two 9 volt batteries. Again, it's a uh, split uh, rail, so we've got a plus 9, negative 9 input. Anyway, let's look at the uh, schematic real quick and look at my final build that I put together here to uh, be able to utilize this in close proximity within a few feet or so of a uh, vintage radio. All right, here's a closer look at the uh, relaxation oscillator that uh, I built. A few modifications from the original design that I just showed you, adding a switch, threw in an LED uh, for a uh, indicator. I think the first time I built it, I left the unit on for, uh, I don't know, two or three days. And um, ended up having to replace the batteries, of course. So uh, I apologize in advance, I don't have any uh, drawings or anything to uh, indicate the uh, parts layout. Uh, this was all done just kind of freehand, sitting down to see what would fit in here best. But uh, you can see here I've got the adjustable precision resistor. My capacitor, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, is a 330 picofarad. If you look at the design, if you'll uh, do some searches on relaxation oscillators, and I'll put a link for the uh, particular one that I used when I did this design in the uh, description of the video. I needed more capacitance, but uh, there's stray capacitance here just due to the wiring and uh, using this particular board. So uh, less capacitance was needed than uh, what was called for in the design, which was expected. Um, again, I mentioned the uh, JFET op amp that I elected to use. Um, added the uh, switch here. Again, I'm controlling the uh, battery voltage on and off to uh, both batteries instead of a single switch. So it's a, a double pole, double throw, I believe is what I ended up using. Uh, you can see I've got my uh, audio connection here. And what I like about this unit, let me flip it over and see if I can keep the batteries in. I think you guys will uh, appreciate this. You saw it there when I introduced the uh, video. I've got my uh, on-off switch here. Again, as we mentioned, we've got the LED here. I've got my adjustment uh, location here. I've got this preset for uh, around 600 kilocycles or so. And I'm using a, uh, a dual male connector here. And you can see I've got a bump stop here for my iPhone. So uh, all I do is just grab the iPhone and uh, plug it down here, let it rest here. Flip it on. Again, a very short antenna. This thing produces uh, very little power. So the effective range is uh, only a few feet. But uh, works perfect for those uh, vintage uh, playbacks. And I love the, you know, just being so compact. So uh, let's uh, look at the schematic here real quick and the bill of materials if you guys are interested in building one. For yourself. Okay, here's a quick look at the schematic. We'll try to keep this short. Again, I had mentioned C1 here is that 330 picofarad cap. I think calculation wise, somewhere around maybe six, seven hundred picofarads is what the design actually calls for. As I noted, the uh, stray capacitance itself on my particular design allowed me to uh, decrease the value and still be able to get the effective range using my 1K adjustable uh, pot here. And you can see the design is uh, straightforward. you got your uh, plus side, negative side. One thing to point out too, I'm not showing on the schematic. I did put 0.1 microfarad caps 
uh, between the uh, positive and negative side to ground. And everything else is pretty straightforward. R1, R2, common values at 1.5K. So easy to come by. C3, my audio input, goes right back to the offset null of the uh, LF351 or 311. I, again, I used uh, JFETs in both cases for my design. Equal performance. And uh, the C3 is a uh, one microfarad cap. Audio input requirements are very minimal. So um, I didn't measure, but uh, I've got my volume on my iPhone about uh, maybe a third of the way up to drive a uh, comparable audio output to an adjacent uh, AM station. So um, very little you know, input, probably two to 300 millivolts would be my guess. And you can see the output, pin number six, just goes through a, a capacitor straight back to the uh, wire antenna, C2 being a 10 microfarad cap. I'll zoom in here on the uh, parts list as well, so you guys will have that for reference, So, just in case you decide to uh, build one for yourself. Let me show you another little circuit that I've been working on that's got just a little better range, and it's a follow-up to my first AM transmitter that I uh, built using a non-schematic but uh, in this case I switched everything over it's three transistors and I'm just using 2N 3904 transistors for the oscillator, the amplifier, and the audio. I'll show my breadboard design in a future video we'll pick up and I'll just show you a, another prototype that I built using the uh, circuit and uh, share this schematic with you guys as well. Thanks again for watching folks. Take care.